What's the word, y'all? I'm still trying to process what the hell I just watched in the game of basketball. Luka has 60 points, 20 rebounds, 10 assists. His team was down by 9 points with 30 seconds to go, and they won. Undoubtedly, you just experienced one of the greatest individual games in the history of basketball. Think about that. The league been around for 75 years. You and I. On this random day in the end of December, just experience one of the greatest games ever. And if you're strictly going on game score, which is a way to try to figure out what is the best individual games of all time, just strictly looking at box score, this is the sixth greatest game in the history. But I would argue that it's higher than that when you consider, again, that they were down by nine points to 30 seconds to go, that this man intentionally missed the free throw, got his own board, and within a matter of a half a second, put it up on the board to send it into overtime. Man, Luka Doncic is on a whole nother level. I was watching this game, and I, I made a decision about in the third quarter that no matter what happened in this game, this video was going to be uh, around Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks. But in that moment, the vibes of that video were completely different. Luka had 50 points at one point, and y'all was down by double digits. The name of this, this video is about to be Get Luka Help ASAP by any means necessary. And yeah, we, he, he still needs help because it took a 60-point triple-double to beat a team that was missing Jalen Brunson, an all-star caliber player, and missing RJ Beard, who over the last month can't miss a shot. So it took, it took almost everything to get this random win. But we can put the Get Luka Doncic Help talk to the end while we just sit here and admire the performance that we just got from this guy. Any guys always had a conversation of what differentiates just a normal all-star caliber player from a superstar caliber player and what differentiates a Hall of Famer from one of the greatest of all time. And one thing we always get back to is taking whatever the defense gives you and making the most of it. And that's what Luka has done throughout his entire career, but it was on full display today versus the Knicks. Opened up against Quinn Grimes. Quinn Grimes had a great game in his own right. He had a career high night. Shout out to Q Grimes. But it was rough on the defensive side of the ball. And that's not nothing against Q because I thought he's playing good defense. But Luka, being Luka, took everything the defense gave him. These guys in the NBA just are like supercomputers. We're like, if we're running the pick and roll and the big man is helping up, I'm throwing that lob. That's easy. I think it was Dwight Powell literally one time. I think Dwight Powell ended today with two points and 30 plus minutes of basketball. But it's either it's Christian Wood on the road easily. If the weak side man is helping, I'm going to find his player and, and throw him. I mean, he had 10 assists today, but I promise you he generated a lot more open shots than that. <laughs> like I said, this video was going to be get Lucas some help because those boys was breaking those shots. And then if you decided to switch these things. Whoever had the switch was in hell. It was Miles McBride. He's too little. I'm going to take him to the post. I'm going to use my size, and I'm going to shoot over him. Oh, it's Julius Randle. I'm going to get physical with Julius Randle, who's one of the more physical players in all of basketball, and get to the basket and finish over him. And this was one of the ones, bro. This is one of the ones. They're down by eight points. There are six seconds. This possession starts for us with six seconds on the clock. Look where Luka is at, and look what he does. By the time he puts the ball on the floor, it's 4.8 seconds on the shot clock, right? Here's a screen from Christian Wood. And in that little amount of time, do you see how easy this man just made this bucket look high off glass over one of the better shot blockers in all of basketball? It doesn't matter. With 4.8 seconds, he had the pacing to get to the basket and finish high off glass. I actually really like this set, if you want to call it that, or play. I don't know. I, I get those words mixed up. Um, this is a couple possessions after what we just saw with Mitchell Robinson being and drop and, and him throwing it high off glass, right? Similar thing, pick and roll, but this time Reggie Bullock is coming up. So this is a screen from Dwight Powell. And, the, and Dwight Powell's also going to set a screen for, for Reggie. And Reggie's going to get an opportunity to be open. But look, look at this one little move. Can I slow down the speed here? Oh my God, I can slow down the speed. Luka does this little hesitation. This little hesitation. Let me let me, let me me rewind it just, just briefly. As he's picking up the ball, he does this little jerk. And now, because two possessions ago, this man Luka went super high off glass. This man Mitchell Robinson thinking the same thing is happening. But instead, it is a lob to Dwight to get him, I think, again, his only two points. <laughs> I know this is back to Dwight, but I think that was his only two points of the game. And I know the shot that sent to overtime is ridiculous, right? I mean, to miss the free throw, get your own board in the matter of half a second, switch hands and put it up on the, on the board and get it in is ridiculous. But he just did something very similar to that a couple possessions before. 20 seconds on the clock. They're down by six. We get a deep shot from Tim Hardaway Jr. Miss. 
But here comes Luka, same thing, cleaning up the offensive glass, having the hand-eye coordination to put it up and one from Luka. The crowd is going crazy. This kid is 23 years old, y'all. And after a game like yesterday, and I guess we've had this conversations for the last couple seasons of Luka's career, how good will he get and how high can he end up on the all-time player list? He's 23 years old and he's been to the playoffs three different occasions. And he has been stellar in every single one. I know in the first two, they, they couldn't get out of the first round, but that wasn't because of him. Game winning shot versus the Clippers in game three or four. I don't remember exactly which one. Game winning shot in his very first playoff series. He's 20 years old looking at Kawhi and Paul George. Ka Kawhi, one of the greatest perimeter defenders of all time. Paul George was in defensive play of the year conversations a year before this season. Looked them straight in the eyes and gave him a 40-point game in a game winner in the playoff series. The year after that, they draw the Clippers again. Unlucky, they end up losing this series. But it wasn't through the fault of, of Luka Doncic. Continuously given 35-point games, 40-point games in the playoffs versus some of the best defensive teams. And then you know just last season, he led this team to the Eastern Conference Finals after missing the first couple games of the entire playoffs. That's how Jalen Brunson got his back. Shout out to Jalen Brunson. But this man has given us great MVP caliber performances in the regular season and in the postseason. He's only 23 years old. It typically takes players a little while to get to the point where Luka is at right now. He's he's arguably the top three player in basketball at 23 years old. So how good can it get? And this is why everybody's having a conversation about Luka Doncic and about the Dallas Mavericks ability to make the team better around him. Because if you have this dude who's on the trajectory to being not just a Hall of Famer, but at all time great, we need to maximize all the things Luka Doncic before it is too late. And too late for the Dallas Mavericks could be any time. At this moment, we don't know what Luka is thinking, but I've se we've seen the clips of him going out and having 35-point triple-doubles, and then they're losing, and his teammates are trying to get him half fast. He's getting back to the huddle, and he's not even doing it. With the body language, is crazy OD because he's like, man, what the hell are you doing, Reggie Bullock? So when, when or how will the Dallas Mavericks maximize Luka Doncic to the point where he is in championship contention because last year they got to the conference finals they overachieved they they undoubtedly overachieved so you can't look at them get into the conference finals last season and say hey every single season we have a chance to win a championship because i don't think that's true as good of a talent as luka Doncic is he's gonna need help and i would argue outside of them not getting him a real secondary co-star they've done an okay job obviously you don't get to the conference finals by having a terrible roster but they've done an okay job putting great defensive players good three and d guys around him but there needs to be more how do they get more who is that more i'm not completely sure but a performance it's like tonight where it takes Luka Doncic playing literally every minute of the second half in overtime. I think he's set for 12 seconds in a random December game against the Knicks that were missing Jalen Brunson and RJ Barrett. It took all of that for you to win. And that just shows that you need a little bit more help. I said on Christmas that that I'm only narrowing down my, my MVP candidates to top five until further notice. And Luka Doncic is in that top five. Who the hell did I kick out? I don't know, bro. Because yesterday, I know that the 76ers lost, but they, they but Joel Embiid had an amazing performance. Actually, can I talk about that just for a quick second? Luka just had a top five performance of all time. Of all time. Drew Hanlon, who's, Han, Hanlon, um, who's one of the top NBA skilled coaches in basketball, um, said Luka was incredible tonight and has been all season. So fun to watch. But anytime you put in the butt on, on something that's all time is crazy. But... To show how biased the media is, here are some facts. Joel Embiid is averaging more points, more rebounds, more blocks, higher field goal percentage, higher free throw percentage. His team has a better record than Luka. Why? 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 Joel Embiid will get his flowers. Today is a Luka Doncic day. Did you watch that game? Did you watch? Because a couple weeks ago when Joel Embiid put up 50, 54 points and however many rebounds and assists, he had his night on Twitter too. Come on, man. And I know Embiid is his guy. He's he's one of Embiid's trainers. He loves Embiid. He's one of his best friends. All of his tweets is Embiid and Jason Tatum. Embiid and Jason Tatum. But you have to read the room, bro. You have to. I don't know how we can take an all-time performance from one player and be like, but did you did are you watching this other dude this season? Embiid is in MVP conversations, bro. He is. I don't know what else you you want. I guess you want us to do what you're doing right now. Luca was great today, 60, 20, and 10. But did, did you see Joel Embiid on Christmas? You see him tonight against the Wizards where he had 40 points, even though they lost. Like, you you have to. Every single day, we, we as basketball enjoyers, shout out to the newsletter. Link is in the description. They had a good piece about Luka Doncic today. As basketball enjoyers, everything is static. 
One day it could be a Shea day. Shea hits a game winner. He had 40 points. It's Shea day. It was Joel Embiid day. And today is Luka day because he put together an all-time performance. I don't think this is media bias here. I, I'm, I, I'm not a biased guy, and here I am making a Luka video. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Luka Doncic. Shout out to you for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe. Hit the link in the description to subscribe to the newsletter. We're trying to get to 50,000 uh, readers, and we can't do that if you don't hit the link in the description, baby.